the heavy metal thrash metal scene was always a family and it still is and it's uh it's basically our religion you know so whether you like it or not just accept it because thrash metal is still alive That was the war cry. That was like, we're gonna burn our idols and we're gonna, we're gonna create something completely different. And you didn't have to deal with it. You had to hear more of it. It was like a drug, it was like caffeine. It was like, God, I have to do more. I have to get more of it. It was loud, it was heavy, it was amazing. Bang your hands in front of the dead. doing stuff that was absolutely brand new and it was they like the way no one yeah. thought about it. doing that stuff they're geniuses you know for, for creating what they created and you know yeah, totally yeah. paved the way for bands like us nobody has heard anything like that it was the heaviest fastest craziest music you could hear I'm not it was tough getting your your record played on the radio it was tough getting it on the shelves of stores. Uh, mainstream America was just afraid of it. So there were like a few fights, like every now and then. Well, there were a lot of fights. It was just skins versus long hairs, man. It was, it was, I, I was just on the back riding the fence, you know? <laughs> I, I had a mullet, so, you know, I was in between. There was so much testosterone going on. Rush metal! <laughs> we played shows in clubs where kids did stage dives and landed on their skulls and busted their skulls open. Everybody had a good time even if they were bleeding. And I had a good time if they were bleeding. It was a really exciting time, you know, because the energy produced some really amazing music. How can you not be affected by the whole scene? That was so powerful and uh, I think a lot of the young bands today are very influenced by it. <laughs> to a lot of other people, it's just a show. But for us, man, it was basically bowing at the altar. It was just like, it was so huge, man.